Good morning. It is Monday. I have a day off. So that means it's cleaning day. Pretty much just going to start in our room and our bathroom slash my bathroom and clean and straighten and tidy and work my way throughout the house. So I'm going to put on one of dad's sermons while I clean and um, I'm going to hop to it. Stop procrastinating. So I bought this to organize the things on my countertop in my bathroom, <clears throat> but as pretty as it is, I think it's going to have to go live somewhere else. Um, it's just, it doesn't quite fit. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it um, maybe in the half bath downstairs to hold things, or I might put it... Um, in the bathroom that Brian uses, which is our guest bathroom, to just put some guest things in here. I'm not sure yet, but this is just a jewelry organizer that I found at Michael's, and I just thought it would be a cute little thing to put, you know, soaps and lotions and things like that in. So I originally bought it for my room, but it didn't work, so that's okay. It can go live somewhere else. So I have the bathroom all clean. I sprayed out the shower and that's a spray that you can just let sit but because of that I mean it is scrubbing bubbles so it's not like it's you know anything that is free of toxins or free of chemicals so because of that whenever I finish deep cleaning a room I grab my cleaning supplies move them out and because of our fur babies we always shut the door because Hercules and Einstein both really like to be in the bathtub if they think that it's wet like if we've just gotten out of a shower or a bath they like to be in there I don't know they're weird Einstein drinks the water Herc will jump in there and drink the water sometimes too and because they do that it's really important that after we're done cleaning we close the door so they don't jump in there and lick on that up so uh, kind of as I go through the house that's also good for me um, as a visual because in my brain if the door is shut I've already cleaned that room so now for the bedroom One thing I've started doing when I clean is taking a trash bag with me. This little navy bag, but I'm using it as a trash bag. That way when I go to each of the bathrooms, I can dump it in there. And then before I vacuum a room, if there's any trash on the floor, I have a place to put it so that it doesn't mess up the vacuum. This is our guest bedroom. It should be pretty easy to clean because there's no one staying here and there's no one coming for several months. And we don't have a lot of furniture in here yet. Um, number one, because the bed is huge. Number two, because I want a quilt rack for that wall or possibly for that corner. And we need to finish the bed. We're probably going to, well, we'll definitely put drawers in and drawer pulls. 
but then we're also going to possibly stain it or paint it. Um, and we're waiting on a duvet cover, so it's kind of not done. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do the windows in here and vacuum, wipe these tables down, and we'll be good to go. little cleaning tip or trick that I have is before I vacuum a room, especially a room that's particularly smelly, I take out the filter of my vacuum and I drop a few drops of essential oil on there. You could really use anything, any smell that you want or any oil that you particularly want the benefits of that oil. I really like Purification. It's a blend by Young Living and it has citrus, lemongrass, lavender, um, myrtle, a few other things. Um, and because it's a blend, none of those things are really overpowering. You don't smell any of the individual things, rather you smell all of them mixed together, which is really nice. It's really great for if you're trying to neutralize an odor. Aside from cleaning, you can use that oil for um, preventing bugs when you go outside. It doesn't really smell like bug spray, but it will work like one. You can dab it behind your ears with a carrier oil or on your wrist. Not that we're having much trouble with that right now because it's so cold outside, but that's one way you can use it. You can also dab it on pimples with the carrier oil before you go to bed, drop a little in your moisturizer. It's just a really cool oil. It does a lot of stuff, and that's one of the cool things about blended oils is it can do a ton because you get all the benefits from the oils in there. So I just vacuumed our office room um, with that, and so it smells really nice in here, and I'm really excited to vacuum the rest of the house because then it'll all smell super nice and citrusy. Um, I still have to clean the windows in here and uh, dust the fan, and then I can move on to Brian's boy bathroom. <laughs> the yucky boy bathroom. This is what I decided to do with the jewelry tray that I bought for my bathroom. I decided to put it on the back of the toilet in Brian's bathroom or our guest bathroom with some room spray and a letter D that I got. D for deal. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with how it how it looks. Looks pretty nice. I still need some artwork for above this toilet. And honestly we need something. We just need stuff in here. It's pretty bare right now. I was kind of going for like a white and blue with some pops of color, but so far, nothing. I did pick up this rug. Oh, the tag showing. That's really cute. <laughs> I did pick up this really nice rug. And I have one that I'm using in the downstairs bathroom. This, we have white towels for here. This is just the towels that Brian and I use. So anyway, now I'm going to clean his bathroom. <laughs> Okay, I'm really glad that was you because I just heard a door shut and I was like, Hi. Did they fix the thing? One of the things that I do to have to make things easier in the kitchen to save time and save energy, one of the things I used to do is I used to buy at Kroger or Dillon's or Fred Meyer, depending on where you live, I would buy a bag in the freezer section of pre-chopped onion and that was like so awesome because it it was like time that I didn't have to worry about chopping an onion before meals. Um, our commissary doesn't have those bags 
and sometimes we're not able to drive into Fairbanks because of the weather or just because of our schedules that week. So today or yesterday I bought five onions. I need two for my recipes this week. The rest I'm going to go ahead and chop and scoop from as I am preparing meals this week. have snow again Hercules and it all melted for a while because it got a little above freezing her go potty go potty and it all melted but it's all coming back now the snow had melted because it was getting up to the 40s every day but then it dropped down to freezing and it wasn't snowing. Instead, it would rain, and the rain would freeze on the road, but it wouldn't freeze as it was coming down, so it would come snow. So for a couple days here, we've had some treacherous road conditions um, where we haven't been... I mean, we've been driving around our neighborhood, but we haven't really been driving around to North Pole and to Fairbanks because the roads are just like ice skating rinks. We were really excited. Um, last night was Halloween and we were thinking, oh, we live in a neighborhood now. We don't live in a five-story building. So we're actually gonna have some trick-or-treaters and we were so excited. So we bought one, two, three, and there's two, four. And this is from a bag. Five bags of candy. We had like 10 trick-or-treaters. <laughs> it was so sad, but it was raining and it was snowing and it was cold, which you wouldn't think in Alaska that would really keep people from coming, but I don't know. I guess they hit up all the other neighborhoods before they came to us, so we were kind of bummed out about that. We were excited to have trick-or-treaters, but oh well. Good morning. It is Thursday. It is my first day this week working, and I'm starting off the day by going into the warehouse in town and we're going to do some training just so that all of the stands all of the coffee huts all over town are all on the same page because consistency is very important it is 8 30 well 8 20 I guess but it is still dark outside <laughs> that's just part of Alaska living is you know around this time of year it's going to get dark and it's not going to get sunshiny again probably until the summer rolls around. So that's something I'm trying to just accept as part of my new life here. Um, but I've got my green drink, my green smoothie in my George cup and we're headed into town. I have a friend going with me and we're going to ride together to make things a lot easier and she's on the way to pick me up right now so happy Thursday so we've had a pretty uneventful week except for last night. Um, Brian got home from work and Hercules was sleeping really hard and really sweaty and was acting like his back legs were bothering him. So at work, Brian texted me and was like, did something happen? I heard fall down the stairs. He's acting like his back legs are hurting. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. When I got home, I went over to see him and he was just laying in his bed and like he wouldn't look at me. He was just staring off into the abyss. 
and he was laying in his bed. His tail wasn't wagging. We could get him to eat a little bit of salmon jerky, but he wasn't really interested in eating very much of it. Um, so that really worried us because he just was not being himself at all. So we took him to the emergency vet in town. Um, that was like the longest ride of my life. I was so nervous. The great news is it was nothing life-threatening. The potentially not so good news is that it could be something chronic. We're not really sure what it is yet. Um, we had x-rays and that didn't reveal anything. The emergency vet said that, you know, x-rays can be a little bit subjective. So we do have those to take to another vet um, just to get some more opinions on that. Um, and so the x-rays didn't really give us anything. And then we did a kind of like a like an emergency panel of blood work, which is like not testing all the deep stuff, but just like all the surface stuff, like all the organs and stuff like that. Um, so she said nothing popped on that, but her thoughts were it was either something, something with his organs or something deeper that just wasn't being picked up in the blood work in the x-ray, or it could be um, something called IVDD, which is pretty common in Dotsons, and it's just where it's really similar to a slip disc, but it's a little more severe for them because they're mostly back. <laughs> like That's like their whole body is their back and it's just really painful. So anyway, he's kind of on the mend today. He's eating a little more, he's moving a little more. His personality is not all the way back, but this morning um, I carried him downstairs to go potty outside and it was snowing and underneath that fir tree that I've shown you guys, it doesn't collect snow because it kind of makes like an umbrella. And um, there was no snow under there, but I got to the bottom of the stairs and I set him down to go potty and he looks at me and he walks to the area where there's no snow and he looks at me again like, could you not have just set me down where there wasn't any snow? Like, come on. And um, he, so that was like the first real showing of his personality again. That was really, I was really happy to see that. You can see his little band-aid from his blood work. He's a tough guy, huh? So just wanted to update you on how he's doing and that's basically closing out our week. This morning I'm gonna run to the store to get some things to make some cakes this weekend and hang out with this guy until I go to work in the afternoon. So just wanted to wrap up our week with a, a follow-up on Hercules, especially if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook you'll know that he was a little under the weather. So just wanted to kind of explain all of that. Um, Thanks for watching this week. We always appreciate it when you watch our videos and we notice every view and we appreciate and are grateful for every single view. And I hope your week was great. Thanks for watching.